There we have white-tailed deer. Four of them. That's the thing about the Inner Lake. The Inner Lake is a wildlife haven. Just talked to my buddy Keevan Erickson. It's got everything. Elk, bear, deer, walleyes, burbot, perch, ciscos. And tonight, we're not gonna go hunting. We're gonna go fishing. But Lake Manitoba is a beast and so much publicity. I've said this before, it goes to Lake Winnipeg for good reason. Lake Winnipeg is amazing. It's home of the greenback walleye. But Lake Manitoba, if you just wanna go and catch a bunch of fish, Lake Manitoba is probably a better option than Lake Winnipeg and it still has that upper end. There's still big fish. Uh, it's just got different dynamics. But anyways, we are gonna do a little tour. I got four days lined up on Lake Manitoba. And we're gonna do tonight, tomorrow on the south basin, the south part. And then hopefully, if we got the footage we were hoping for, then we're gonna head north and explore a little bit around the steep rock, Lake Manitoba Narrows area, a place that I fished a little bit, but wasn't successful last time I tried. So this is the Lake Manitoba tour and we're kicking it off with the evening smackdown, hopefully. Welcome back. We're on the shores of Lake Manitoba. Behind me is MTT, the launching point for Lake Manitoba. Anyways, we're gonna go inside, bring up some food, some bait. I heard they got catch and cook. This is a great place for food, for poutine, the best poutine around. Um, but anyways, we're racing the clock for the primetime bite. We're gonna meet up with our buddy Keevan, hopefully catch some walleyes. We'll head in here for I did not mean to do that. Lake Manitoba, I meant to say. We made it just in time for prime time. I'm not good at getting up for sunrise, but I am good at staying up for sunset. And that's exactly what we're doing. I Last time we were here, whatever, three years ago when we did that hard session, our best luck was like when it was fully, fully dark. So I, it's pretty cold outside. I think we're probably gonna end up setting up the shack. That's the thing about Lake Manitoba. You don't have to go that far off from shore. You can see a couple hundred yards and you can be catching fish in like three, four or five feet of water. So, I mean, Keevan's the real expert. This is the spot. This is the spot. So every year is a little different depending on wind. Um, Keevan lives on the lake now so he can see the lake freeze and this is a good one. This is a good one. I've never seen it so flat. There's some big piles out another mile out but we don't often end up out there but should be good. We're out on Lake Manitoba. It's cold. The walleyes aren't biting quite yet, but hopefully soon after dark. And then there's about 50 of them in the middle and then everything else. It's my mother. Hello. Hi mom. Oh, there's a fish coming. There's a fish coming. Oh, hang on mom. I'll call you in a second. All right, we've marked okay. our first fish sliding on the bottom. Keevan's on the phone with his mom. I just hung up on my poor mother. Wow. She birthed you. She did. Now you're just hanging up on her. It was just sliding on the bottom. Call him in, Keevan. You got the rattle bait. Call him. We got scissor kick in the tantrum. Two very active, aggressive baits. But that is what Lake Manitoba is known for. Shallow, angry walleyes. I learned that very quick. I'm like, these are fun walleyes to fish for because they come in and kill. Like, you don't really need live scope here. You just, you don't even need electronics at all. You're fishing shallow. Like, yeah, like they just kind of come in and kill the bait. Mm -hmm. It's nice to give you heads up though, but... Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jay, Jay scared the fish away, so I, I ordered some lures and a couple of reels. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, hang on. Bye. Okay, bye. Your mom again. Oh, look at this fish coming in to kill. Oh, swam right by. Rattle me. Rip it. Okay, he didn't He didn't rip it. Keep decided to tap it on the spot. Every time he calls his mom, the fish comes in. That fish should not care. No, it's... We need another fish coming in. Call your mom right now. So Yo, Chrissy! Yo, Chrissy! Hello. Hello. Oh, fish, 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 fish. <laughs> okay. Never mind. We're hoping you'd bring another fish. See you later. Okay, <laughs> bye. Bye. Ah!
Mike even said, it's just around the corner. He said lots of pickerel here. I don't know what he means. So what do you use for mapping, Keevan? Tell the viewers at home. What do I use for mapping? Navionics, generally. That's about the best. You use the eye hunter for a lot of your... Well, I, yeah, for, for traveling the lake, eye hunter. Um, it's, you have cacheable, cacheable satellite imagery, so you can... Uh, Cash money? You can use it without cell phone service. And uh, yeah, you can track yourself and find all your old waypoints so you can fish some memories. So here we go. Goodbye world. Welcome back. We are set up on Lake Manitoba. We got Kevin Erickson. Last night it didn't happen, but that's all right. We moved and think about a lake like Lake Manitoba, so it's kind of a big mud bowl. There is, you know, some rock piles and stuff, but you move around and these fish roam. They don't really sit still, at least that's not how I picture it. Who's coming to you? Oh, he's coming to me. I got a jigging spoon, the scissor kick, Kevin's got the rattle bait, the tantrum, and uh, yeah, looking for walleyes. We could get into some perch yet too. Oh, there's a fish under me. Two fish on the screen, Kevin, this is good. That fish is so into you right now. Not huge though, that's all right. That was nice to be marking fish instantly. I got no bait on mine, but I got confidence with those little props. Yeah. That that's gonna, I mean, it's got rattles, it's got props, it glows. It's also bright. Like what What else does a fish want? Does he really need bait? Boy. Who's that? My neighbor. Hello. Oh, good, just uh, fishing. Okay, oh, oh, hang on a second. <laughs> Kevin's on. First fish of the morning. That fish just came in streaking. Oh my god. Every time I get a phone call. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, that's a good sign. Look We're how keeping. angry that is. That's a typical Lake Manitoba walleye pale. They're, they, can, they can be golden, but that's the, the big difference is Lake Winnipeg, greenbacks. These are more uh, beige backs, we'll call them. Beige backs, very gold. That's gonna be lunch. Yes, and this is by far lower than the average size. Normally they're like a chunky 17 to 20 incher, but this is gonna taste good. That fish was just wanting to eat. It showed up big, eh, considering it was a small fish? Yeah. Oh, come on, Kevin. Oh, he's just staring at it. Oh, he's just staring at it. Oh, no. That looks long. Yeah, that's a big fish. Oh, man. Oh, he's under me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got nice. him. That was sweet. No bait on the scissor kick. We got a walleye. Nice one. That is my first scissor kick walleye. And that was fun. That fish was aggressive. Yeah, I just. He wanted to get caught. Just I just dirt. worked on it. Like I said, that's the thing about Lake Manitoba. Lake Manitoba is definitely a good numbers numbers fishery and you can catch a lot. And they're, they're, they're tall fish and you don't have to worry about releasing them in the shallow water, but we're not gonna release them anyways. Gonna be lunch. Should I steal them from you? I'm switching baits right now, just switching colors. That is a nice fish. I'm gonna try to, I'm giving you a couple more seconds. You had your chance. You had your chance. Turn him around. Oh, keeping his eye. Oh, come back. Oh, what in the world? He didn't like, did you see? He just darted away 100 miles an hour. But what for? He, I don't know. He, my lure wasn't even close to it. And we had made so much noise before then. Yeah. That was weird. Maybe it was your lure dropping down so fast. <laughs> that was a long fish that you just ruined. He'll be back. He's around. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a fish. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Come on, come back. Still there. Oh, come on. Turn around. Oh, he's coming, oh, he's to, coming to you. Oh, there's two fish. Oh, oh Keevan. Oh, we're gonna double up here. Look at this. Yeah, he's on me. Ooh, that's a nice fish, Kevin. <laughs> Not that nice. Double up. Oh, I'm so close to doubling up. All right, you can, you can, well, we're gonna keep that one. But, that was so close to doubling. Oh, here he comes. There it is, right now. <laughs> no, they're nice. away now. Angry. Lake Manitoba Walla. You ever seen a non-angry one? No. Just a happy one? They're, happy to be here. They're so angry. I don't know what's so bad down there, but... 
Maybe I'm happy they're up face. here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll be lunch. Wow, that's pale. I think it has to do something with the with the water that, like the, I would say the reason that people would say that the walleyes are green in Lake Winnipeg is all the limestone. I don't think there's the same amount of limestone in here, but uh, you go to those clear shield lakes and you get a lot darker walleyes. Here you've got very chalky water. It probably has something to do with it. it but I think when you go north to the north base and the fish do get may maybe a little darker, I don't well, know, water hen walleyes? I don't know if there's any... Um, Your any... big walleye was dark though. Your big walleye yeah, was pale. I don't know if there's anything to it, but it seems like even like first ice, they're mega pale. And huh. then later in the ice, maybe as the water clears a bit, they get a little darker. Because your first walleye last year in the Arts Band Shack? So pale. So pale. Yeah, a lot of speculation. We don't really know, but they are, yeah, they're, they're pale walleyes here. They definitely seem to be a little bit more of that prairie gold look later in the winter. So I don't know if there's anything to that though. Yeah, you know, Keeb and I are both using the 38 medium, the true grit. It's it's just a staple staple walleye rod, really. It's a medium, uh, good for rattle baits, jigging spoons. It's it's a, a, a big walleye rod. You know, I like the 50 inch, the run and gun, but in, in a shack, it gets a little bit tight sometimes. So the 38 is, uh, yeah, it's a staple. Thousand size reel. I got 10 pound braid on, 12 pound floral leader. As, as far as fishing spots go in Lake Manitoba, um, just cause I have a buddy that lives on the far side, has a cabin on the far side. I know people that fish the south end, kind of out of Portage and stuff. There's fish everywhere, you know? It's uh, it's just interesting how, how these spots get picked and they get fished year after year after year. But it's, it's kind of like Lake Winnipeg too, or the Red River, it's access spots. There's fish all throughout. Yeah, there's definitely better spots, but it's access points. A lot of these fish are just moving around, cruising, and if you set up, you're gonna probably run into fish uh, uh, eventually, but it's uh, it's a little different than fishing a shield lake where there might be a spot on a spot. Here, that's just big, flat, kind of boring, but fish just move. Would you agree with all those statements? I would agree with all that. It's kind of like the biggest thing to up your odds in this lake is go shallow in the morning and evening and kind of cruise around in the deep during the day. Yeah. You should be able to stay on fish for Lots of the day. Sometimes in the deep water, it takes a bit of work to find them, but in the evening, pretty much anywhere shallow, they're going to be pushing through. Kevin okay, was saying 18 inches of water under the ice, he's caught them. But like, yeah, three, four feet isn't uncommon. So you can be walking out a couple hundred yards and, and catching fish. So this is a really good spot for, there's just a lot of access spots that you can walk out and yeah, catch walleyes. You don't feel that, don't feel the need you need a, a truck or a snow machine. I think that's what makes this cool is, I don't know, I, I feel like Lake Manitoba is more, uh, family friendly mm -hmm. just for the fact that you don't you don't need a sled Super we could have walked out and on the average catch more fish than lake winnipeg you have the chance to get into perch which is you know fun catching a bunch of delicious perch Fish all over you, big mark. Is that a mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Get serious. Lift, uh, lift. To we, up, 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 up. Get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my, I flipped the, the switch on the back of my reel. There. That was great. That was good. That was back reeling at its finest. The old palm. I'm gonna take the assist on that one. Oh, he's not as angry. That one's happy. Happy. Wow, wow, don't wow, lose him. Wow, don't wow, lose him. Wow, <laughs> Kevin, come on. <laughs> that was our lunch. We have lunch. I was actually going to keep that fish. Well, Grandpa Abe Three is sad it. right now. So I was going to bring home some fish for him. I got fish. You're going to have to apologize to my grandpa. Sorry, Gramps. That whole ordeal from start to finish. Was a rodeo. Yeah, we're going to have an instant replay of the back reeling. Um, and the fish flopping. <laughs> that was a nightmare. At least he made it back in the hall. Uh, my palm switched the little back, back the, reels. The <laughs> real question is, how's your frostbite doing since last winter? Frostbite has recovered nicely. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, no long-term effects. So we'll do her again. That was pretty funny. Four walleyes four ain't bad. You didn't mark that strong. This look like There's a, a fish under you right now. They're moving it. Oh, oh yeah. Keevan. That's a nice fit. Or like, whatever, same size. No, it's smaller. Perch. Oh yeah, there are perch. Does Grandpa Abe like perch? Ah, uh, maybe a little small for Abe. Well, <laughs> Abe would, he he would, he eats bullheads, just to put into perspective. But uh, yeah, that one will probably put back. Fin this whole perch in my mouth. <laughs> nice, nice, nice job, Dad. 
Thank you. So this ice buildup right here, see that ice buildup? That can cause an issue, especially when you're fishing outside. I know this is common sense, but I just grab my fingernail and I just give it a, a rip down every once in a while. Because you don't pay attention, it gets loaded up on your rod and then you hook a big one and it can get, you know, obviously thick enough that it jams on an eyelet and uh, it, you can break off, right? It's just a small thing to to always be watching. Sometimes my friend Keevan forgets that. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, here we go. Got some fish rolling in on the right. Bogies. That's a wallet. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, he likes this. I'm gonna do the lift now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, right there. Nice. Oh no. Oh man. Oh man. He played with it. He nose down and then I lifted. It's all right, that's good. There's still fish. I guess we're staying here all day. I don't, is there something on the elbow? I think I cut it. You did cut it. <laughs> There's a rip on it. <laughs> Huntfish MB and Icefish MB. Is mine Icefish MB? I can't tell what I'm wearing. What's on my head right now? Uh, you have a Huntfish hat. But... Huntfish MB. Oh, and I got an Icefish underneath. This is Tough Duck, the Tukes at least, which is a Winnipeg company, which is cool. Really nice Tukes. Really nice hats. I, I am fussy about hats. I like to cover up my big forehead as much as possible. Um, anyways, they now are selling it online on the e-store. They ship everywhere. 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 You can get Huntfish merch for a while. It was only at the Forks at the headquarters there. Trail went to headquarters, you could buy it, but now they ship it, which is sweet because I knew I got a lot of messages, but where can I get the Huntfish merch? So yeah, basically Huntfish Manitoba is Manitoba's, you know, hunting, fishing, marketing. They've done a lot to support this channel over the years. Kind of helped me launch the channel. And uh, here we are catching walleyes on Lake Manitoba. Just go to huntfishmanitoba.ca or .com. He'll link it below. Yeah. Ooh, look at that mark. Brandon, Brandon, oh, Brandon. Oh, 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 oh. That's a big mark. Oh, wow, here we go. Oh. That's a big fish. That's gonna be a pike, right? Got him. Oh. She's right there. If that's a walleye, it's big. It's a burbot. No. Yeah. Oh, that's a big fish. It's a big burbot. Oh man. In the shallow water, this is crazy. Yeah, get in there, get in there. Oh, 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 oh. oh look at that dirty burb. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Middle of the day, that is not what I was expecting. So long, Man, it was so long that on the live scope. That looks so cool on the live scope. Oh, wow. What a pretty fish. All right. Well, first time using the scissor kick, and I'm certainly a fan. There we go. All right, we got him unhooked. One more look at a beautiful Lake Manitoba burbot. They get giants in here, and that was crazy in seven feet of water to see that thing slithering up. Look at that burbot ball. What a cool looking fish. There she goes. Nice. Look at him swim back down. <laughs> Man, I thought that was a huge walleye. Oh, it did look skinny though. So I, I, it was just like I think a walleye might be a little bit taller, but I, I had a maybe thinking maybe it was a pike for a second, but yeah, that's that's cool. That was good. Lake Manitoba Grand Slam perch walleye burbot. There you go. That's where we're coining it. Lake Manitoba Grand. Yep, that's the one right there. Got some good vibration with the props. Had a little minnow tail on there, and uh, it's it's a cool bait because you don't have to move it much, and it just it makes those those blade spins. So it's. Not maybe quite as aggressive as the rattle bait, but not as subtle as just a jig and minnow. So it's it's a, it's a cool bait. That burbot thumped it. There's 30 inches to kick around here for sure. Yeah, we got quite, uh, I've seen probably three or four master burbot last year and lots like 27, 28 wow. of that size, yeah. The old leopard print. They're pretty sporadic. I tried to target them into the dark, but Seems like we catch most of them in the middle of the day like this. Really? Yeah. In sh um, not crazy thick ice, it's so difficult because you can normally kind of get them trapped yeah. up a hole. But the he just kept grabbing around. his tail and pulling himself down again. They are one of the fish that, yeah, can loop around. I, I, I've heard they don't have a a spine in the same sense as a walleye. I'm not sure exactly. the. Well, you saw they can fold in half. Yeah. <laughs> I think I stopped and started already, but I'll stop and start it again. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ooh, bump. Ooh, I just stop and start. Oh, that's a nice. Get him. Oh, that's just uh, a, it's a small yeah, it was small. Fish. I thought it was bigger at first. Might come back though. I didn't sting him there, that's for sure. Kevin never stings him. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Oh, come over here. Come over here. My Why guess is changing? a little walleye though. Yeah. He should just come over to mine. Mine's got a minnow on it. Yeah, he would probably likely, probably likely, maybe, kind of. 12 inch fish. <laughs> 12 inch perch. Oh, here's one on mine. It looked small at the start. Oh my, whoa, whoa, something big just came in. That's a oh. pike. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> oh, Keevan. Oh, heck. <laughs> what just happened? That was ridiculous. Nice walleye. That was the most aggressive walleye I've oh. ever seen. Wow. Dude, that was so <laughs> awesome. He was scaring the fish around. Man. That's a little more of a, a proper average match of a walleye. There you go. Angry, aggressive, those would be... He the... looked like a pike when he was just darting oh. left, darting right. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, that's going to be another amazing... Um, oh, that's so fun. Live scope view. Like, I you missed your had... bait. Oh yeah, that was unreal. I thought that had to have been a pike. I didn't even know that he ate it. He kind of slacklined me a bit when... <laughs> When he got it the uh, second time. Oh yeah, you look so goofy. <laughs> Keevan just reeling, back reeling, opening the bale, not sure what's going on. Well, that pile should be four walleyes, but Keevan's been working on his juggling, as you saw. Calling it a video, we're gonna head back to Keevan's, cook up some walleye. But yeah, Lake Manitoba, check it out. I think a lot of people get stuck on just fishing Lake Winnipeg, and Lake Winnipeg is amazing. But Lake Manitoba, I would say, on average, you're catching more fish. You're fishing shallow, you're fishing you know, close to shore, it's accessible, which is very nice because not everyone has a snow machine or a truck they can drive out on the ice. So check out Lake Manitoba. Um, and this is just the start of our tour. Shake and cook. Catch, Fake, catch and cook. Catch and cook. Hey. Hey. Stay still, stay hey. still. It's gonna hurt more if you move. No, Keevan, stop moving. One second, I need to have No! Fish. Can I pull? Is that no, too much don't air? No, don't pull it. Is it's that too, too much? much air. Please take it. Ow! <laughs>